The internet continues to buzz with the discussions surrounding the tragic death of Starlet Wahoo, and fresh evidences has recently come to light in connection to the primary suspect in her case. John Matara, a 30-year-old Kenyan man, is currently in police custody as investigations are underway to determine the circumstances surrounding Wahoo's demise during his presence. Based on the evidences gathered thus far, it has been revealed that John Matara is a dangerous criminal known for luring women from dating sites with promises of a lavish lifestyle, only to later kidnap them on their first meeting and demand ransom for their release. The first victim exposes John Matara and how he tortured her and demanded money from her. Hello, my name is Chief Okuzo from Plug TV. According to this victim's account, she met John on a dating site where he had initially showered her with money. On their final meeting, John booked an Airbnb and as part of their routine, they both underwent HIV testing. However, things took a terrifying turn as John suddenly brandished a knife and demanded 50,000 Kenyan shillings from her. Despite the dire situation, the victim managed to gather the required amount and handed it over to John. She recounted how John also recorded her in a compromising situation, threatening to leak the video if she reported him. Immediately, she undressed John Alitoa Kisu and demanded 50,000 from her. Even though they carried out the HIV test, John told her he wouldn't touch her or lay her. So this girl got lucky because at knife point, she managed to raise 50,000 and gave the money to John. She also narrates that John picked her parents' phone numbers and before John left, he asked her to rub her clip naked while he took a video of her. This he would leak if the girl dared to report him. Following this, John forcibly tied her up and left her locking the door from the outside. Fortunately, she was eventually rescued the next day by the cleaning staff at the Airbnb and two months after the incident had occurred. It is crucial to note that John Matara operates alongside a group of 11 men who display a lavish lifestyle and spend generously on their targets before their meetings. However, after meeting their victims, the situation takes a dangerous turn. Their targets often include attractive individuals on Instagram who appear to have financial means, as reported by the victims. The victim also shared disturbing photos of her aftermath encounter with John Matara, displaying tightly bound hands and marks of wounds on her head, indicating a fierce struggle before her release. Another victim recounted how she was coerced into reaching out to friends and family for financial assistance while John held a knife to her neck. According to this WhatsApp chat, this is what the victim said. Karaga called her on Sunday Akamuita out call Thika Road. At, at BNB behind Quiva Ya Thika Road, he f hey, he f then he started beating her, threatening to kill her. He forced her to call people from her contact list for two me pesa. Actually, me, I sent her 4,000 juali Nicola kinishoa tia meshikwa na polisi na likuwa na weed. So I need 5k, but it was that man who was forcing her to do so. Kisu ikiwa kwa shingo. Narrated one of the victims. Regrettably, many of John's victims who are often sex workers remain silent out of fear of ridicule and victimization, leading to further exploitation and danger. From the victims' testimonies, concerned individuals have pieced together a chilling narrative of how John Matara may have lured Starlet Wahoo into a deadly situation. It appears he employed a similar modus operandi, taking her to an Airbnb in the South B area of Nairobi, conducting a HIV test and subsequently resorting to violence 
ultimately resulting in Wahoo's tragic demise. Wow, na kuambia wa Kenya wanaweza kuwa pia ma FBI's. And that is according to what people are saying on social media. It seems that probably John Matara did the same thing he has been doing to other ladies according to this narrative. But he lured Starlet Wahoo into this B&B where he went ahead and they tested their HIV status and eventually John Matara decided to maybe threaten Starlet Wahoo akimwambia you need to give me money or else I will stab you to death and that is when probably Wahoo decided not to give in and she fought back unfortunately it is seems that John Matara overpowered her and she ended up dying due to multiple stab wounds anyway what are your thoughts leave your thoughts in our comment section that is it for now thanks for watching let's me next time bye bye